Shalom and welcome to the vlog archives. I'm your host, me. So originally this was supposed to be, I had this plan, this wonderful, adorable plan of sort of documenting this like health and weight loss journey that I'm currently on. I wanted to like document the whole thing, do weekly weigh-ins, you know, that whole thing that a lot of people are doing right now. But here's the thing, it turns out, A, I sucked really bad at documenting everything, like filming every meal, my weigh-ins, you know, like I just, I suck at doing anything organized like that. And the second thing is that I realize is that those types of videos are only fun if the person making them is actually getting results. <laughs> so what I ended up with was a crap ton of vlog footage starting from like October of 2021 up until now. I just got into the habit of vlogging all the time and then not posting it because I was like, well, my weight loss isn't going how I wanted to go. But the more I thought of it, I was like, you know what? Some of this vlog footage is fun. There's a lot of behind the scenes stuff. There's life updates. There's new house updates. All of these things that a select few of you want to see that I'm like hoarding because I'm not having the fitness goals that I thought I would have. Anyway, it's silly. So I asked you guys on Instagram and Facebook, I took a poll and it was like 90% on Facebook and like 95% on Instagram. You all said you wanted to see these archive vlog footage. So a lot of it's just regular vlogs, but you will see an emphasis on like what I'm eating and maybe my workouts and you know, etc. because that was my original intention. I had a whole announcement video I worked on for a while. I even did my hair and makeup for. I don't know, it all just started to feel like not the right fit. I'm still on my health journey. I probably always will be. But making it a thing and specifically vlogging about that and weighing myself and measuring myself on a regular basis for thousands of people to see, it just started to not feel right. So <laughs> that's what's going on. I think I said it was going to be every Friday. It's probably going to be more like every Monday. I don't know. It'll be every week. You guys know how vlogs are. Vlogs aren't always the most exciting thing to watch. While I appreciate all of my viewers, I really do. I have a special little spot in my heart for any of you who watch my vlogs because I find my life to be so boring. So thank you for being here and enjoy the vlog archives. And from now on, I want you to call me Sir Vlogs a lot. Auntie's gonna drop down and get his egg on. <laughs> We're getting some opening measurements of her deliciousness that she wants to make a teeny bit more felt. <laughs> a teeny. 49 and a quarter. It's already pretty perfect, but she just wants to know. How high do you know? Natural waist. That would be higher than that, I would think. Where you're smallest, I think. Natural waist. Right here? Yeah, I would say. Snug as a bug, babe. Snug as a bug. 40 and three quarter. A buzzy mom. He's wired in. Buffalo dip? You are a busy mom. Oh, she's going for it, guys. She's doing the neck. <laughs> Do next arm and let's see. There you go, blood going. <laughs> Come on. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to flex it. I will. It just worked out. 16. Ooh. 16. 16. That's it. Dead on. <laughs> Is that bad? Come over here. Yeah, let's do yeah, chanty. Come, Come on. Come here. Come on, chanty. Come on. We want to measure your bicep. Yeah, get ready. Jamie's gonna do it. Not my left arm. <laughs> <laughs> You're about 15 and three quarters. Are we yeah. Here? yeah. 14 and three quarters. Yeah. Hey, it's me, your host. Me. So I have something really cool to show you guys. It's actually legit. I actually use it and it's 60 seconds. Bear with me. Ugh. Okay, so a couple months ago, like October, November, I noticed I was getting this really annoying rash on my palms and they were constantly itching and like this area right here always looked flaky and gross. And I was complaining about it to my assistant, Nikki, and she said that she used to have the exact same thing on her hands from her hand soap, from like harsh detergents and scents and everything. She told me she had to switch to a company called Blue Land. Blue Land. So she brought it to the studio for us to try. Everybody loved it. And guess who coincidentally reached out to me after that and wanted to sponsor a portion of today's video? Do you know who it was? <laughs> it was Blue Land. You're gonna love this, okay? So Blue Land makes cleaning products, hand soap, multi-purpose cleaner, glass cleaner, bathroom cleaner, etc. But get this, they are clean, they are zero waste, and they're gentle on 
her body. So the idea is that you buy the bottle once and then refill it forever so there's no plastic bottles being thrown into landfills. So from the best-selling clean essentials kit to the hand soap duo, they offer safe, smart options for every room in your home. All you have to do is fill the beautiful, and may I add, highly Instagrammable bottle with hot water. Hot water. And pop in one of the soap or spray cleaner tablets and within a few minutes you have a powerful, effective cleaning product that is gentle on the skin and they come in the best scents ever like rose bergamot, lily mint, lavender eucalyptus, bathroom cleaner. Smells so good. Their stunning high quality forever bottles start at just $10 when you buy a kit and are meant to be reused forever with money saving refill tablets that start at just two. $2. So cut the plastic waste without sacrificing clean and get Blue Land. You'll love it, the planet will thank you, and so will your beautiful little palms. So if you're interested in checking out Blue Land, you can save 20% off your first purchase with them by going to blueland.com slash Jamie. Again, that's 20% off your first purchase with Blue Land at blueland.com slash Jamie. Thanks Blue Land for supporting my channel and sponsoring a portion of today's video. And now back to the vlog. Hey, I just came up to the studio for a little bit after the chiropractor. I gotta edit a video. I wanted to get my vlog camera and it is, it's literally one degree in here. Hold up. <gasps> Nick is out of town. He is camping. I have the whole weekend to myself. I don't know. I thought it was going to be super fun and I was like looking forward to it and I was like, I'm going to watch whatever I want. I'm going to work on videos all weekend. Just revel in the solitude, but I kind of don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> I should be working, I should be working, but I'm anxious. I feel weird. Or I leave the house for a while and then I get anxiety that my animals are not being taken care of and then at night I'm scared because I watch too many true crime shows and you know, I'm just, it's not all it's cracked up to be. My heart goes out to anybody who, uh, you know, lives alone and feels restless. I asked Channing if the kids could come babysit me tonight, but they have plans already with their aunt. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Anyway, I gotta get to work. I don't think there's anything new to show you guys here. Studio's looking about the same as always. I'm just living the dream, you know? And this is the dreaded reason I had to go to the chiropractor from sitting here and staring at this thing for 13 hours at a time. <laughs> So I need to get the movie recreation scenes from the kissing booth airdropped to my phone to post them on Instagram. I usually edit the green screen clips here on my laptop and then I'll edit like the full movie review on my desktop. I'm gonna do this and then I gotta text him back. See, now I can make a fun little Instagram post. But what's extra fun about this is that I can actually tag Nick now. I am home and I forgot I had this. I found this place by my house called Fit Flavors and they do like all healthy stuff like meal prep, all that. So I'm gonna try this cheeseburger bowl. These calories are actually kind of high, but I haven't really eaten today. I just had coffee, so here we go. And you need to step off. You're not getting any. Just kidding, I'm totes gonna give you a bite. Look who's here to wreak havoc today. Ugh. <laughs> no little bird. That's now for birds. <laughs> I love when she makes her neck real long. I took out the pickle and I opted for hot sauce instead of the mustard that it came with. And you know, it's very, how do you say this? It's just okay. <laughs> <laughs> the good news is the kids plans with their aunt fell through so I get to have them tonight so I have a nail appointment at 3 15 he's gonna drop them off and they are going to babysit me it's really nice to have employees now that can share some of the load of my job today normally I would have been editing for like 12 hours but now I can like spend time with family you know get my nails did or whatever I want to do went to the chiropractor I'm like almost living like a normal person. Now if I could just get my body, you know, to behave and be where it needs to be. Wouldn't that be fun? I wanna show you guys something that's been super helpful on this kind of little weight loss journey I got going on is a lettuce crisper. You just, you know, put your lettuce in it and it's got little holes. I'm sure a lot of you probably know about this, but for those of you who don't, I feel like it makes the lettuce crisper than it was, even as time passes. It's been so nice, like having this, I just, at the end of the night, every night I have salad for dinner it's already ready to go i throw cucumber avocado whatever else you want in there like broccoli slaw it's very helpful to keep me like on track i get the pre-wash stuff also if you're real it says thoroughly washed if you're really an overachiever you can get the heads of lettuce and cut it up yourself and wash it in a salad spinner and, you know i'm lazy <laughs> but uh, get a lettuce crisper just saying i took a late night trip to at home last night do you guys have an at home <laughs> 
It's not funny. At home is like, it's like home goods on steroids. And I was restless last night and I saw that they didn't close till 10. I got a little, a little home. Got two big old salad bowls. I've been weary lately to purchase stuff because I feel like I want stuff, but then I also want to wait until I'm in the new house to get stuff. But I really needed salad bowls. I got this thing because I always wish I had something to paint things onto like chicken breasts and stuff. I got some little goodies for the kiddos just in case I was able to have them today, which I am able, which is very exciting. I got a new throw. These are actually for the studio. We don't really have chips here, but tons of chip bags at the studio. <laughs> These are so cute. New fork because we are always running out of forks. I got this for Nick. Technically it's for belts, but I'm gonna hang his hats on it. A fox and some OMG delicious candles. This brand, every single candle I smelled was like to die for. Got that velvet rose one and then this fig eucalyptus. I'm gonna burn this one tonight. Oh, it smells so good. And then I got a fruit tree instead of slinging my avocados all over the counter. <laughs> and bananas. Any pickles for you. No, you'll just bite me. Can you tell me what's inside the fridge? Very good. I'm trying to get the bird to talk because she's been hilarious lately, but I forgot to show you these tree stump chair pads. Every time there's kids at my house, I don't have like booster seats for them when they eat dinner and stuff, and I thought these are adorable and squishy. <laughs> Not funny. I'm Hey, so, oh, okay, so Channing just texted me and said, OMG, Joey King commented on your Instagram, and I was like, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Started thinking about it, and I was like, you know, Channing's not a liar. So I was like, are you messing with me? He said no. So I looked at my reel that I posted, and full-blown, Joey King, the main character of the Kissing <laughs> Broken promises, promises. The girl who played Elle in the kissing booth, the main character, comments on the video. Now this, the thing is, guys, this is not like the biggest, I'm not trying to, how do I say this? Whenever things like this happen, I try not to lose my mind. I try to remember like, this is a normal person. She just happens to be an actress and inside of, I, I'm freaking out. First of all, how cool that she would do that, that she would take the time. She has like 20 million followers or something. I don't even know how she happened to see it. But the fact that she would take the time to like acknowledge and say it was funny and all that, she's obviously a very cool person. The thing that happens to me when things like this happen is like I get anxiety about the fact that I made fun of this person's movie they were in. I went to her Instagram and she posted a video where she like almost got stuck in a locker on set and she was claustrophobic trying to get out and there was this really sweet man holding her hand who was like, you're fine, you're fine, come on out. Someone commented and was like, who is that sweet man that was helping you? And she's like, oh, that's the director, Vince Marcello. He's like a father to me, he's so wonderful. And like, seeing things like that after I just ripped the movie to shreds, oh, I feel so, <laughs> I feel bad, like, I really do. I don't think the director's gonna watch my video or, nor do I think she's going to, but it shows how powerful the internet is and that you never know who is seeing yourself. These movies I make fun of, like, I always feel like movies don't have feelings, you know, who cares? Like, it's a movie, but then I remember that people's work goes into these, so. I just gotta stay diligent in, you know, making fun of something without being hateful. Can I help you? She's been out 600 times a day and it's never enough. Watch what she does when I ask. Hey, Penny. Do you want to go outside? Every time. You want to go outside? <laughs> Let's go look at the new house. It's such a beautiful, crisp. It's like 65 degrees, zero clouds in the sky. It's magical. I have to keep an eye on Penny because she's been getting in the mud lately from all the construction, but here's a side view. We got siding. We went with black soffit, black brick on the outside. I'll show you the front in just a second. I'm very excited about the side. And right here in this little nook, right there is the kitchen window. And I think that this is where we're gonna build a little outdoor aviary, like a temperature controlled aviary for Ember. And then I can open that sliding window in the kitchen and bring her in and out if I want to, or come through this door, obviously, which leads to the garage. Penny, get out of the mud. Here she is, kid. She's coming along. So like I said, we went with black soffit and then we have some cedar gables that the carpenter custom made. We have cedar right here. I want to go with either a black door or a cedar door. I'm not feeling the white door. I really want cedar looking garage doors, but the builder said he already ordered our garage door, so that might just be something we change later down the line. And then I also wish we had gone with black 
windows, but I think those can be painted at any time. But it's looking so beautiful. And we got black gutters. I love the black gutters. The guys working on the house the other day told Nick that when they saw like the brick and stuff that we ordered, they were like, what? Like they had never really, they weren't used to black brick and black mortar, but they could not stop complimenting it when they put it up. They said it looked really sharp and I was like, <laughs> Thank you. So drywall got delivered. Uh, it's all happening and I could not be more thankful, you guys. Good morning, children. I hear Nick. I don't no, you hear the bird. She's she's talking. <gasps> I need more. Hey Adler, are you sure you don't want these homemade sprinkle pancakes I made? No. Not sure how you could resist this, but okay. She's eating. <laughs> Salad. Show them what you're eating. Nasty crap. Pasta. I wanted to ask, what percentage of our marriage would you say have we spent where you eat something delicious and I pout about it? Mm. Not too often. It used to be 100% of the time. Yeah, when we were younger yeah. in the apartments. But I've slacked off as we've gotten older. She doesn't slack off. Yeah, I have. Not really. I started giving up on diets, I feel like around 28, maybe? Yeah, you say that, but at the same time, you've always... You've always stayed close. Yeah, I guess. You venture off, you know, like normal people for a little bit and then you come right on back. And during the venturing off period is always when I gain and then when I get back to like how I normally eat, it doesn't want to come off. <laughs> That's the cycle I'm trying to break. I wanted to tell you guys about one of the times when we were like maybe 20. And we were living at the very first place we ever had together. It was this terrible, dingy brown one bedroom apartment. And we got Chinese food. Do you know where I'm going with this? <laughs> Maybe. I was pouting like so hard because I wanted it so bad and he was eating it. And I remember he kept saying, you don't want a goon? Come on, you want a goon, don't you? I finally gave in. <laughs> Can I tell him? He was 20, okay, so you can't be mad at him. I finally gave in and I cr ate a crab rangoon and then he goes, I thought you were on a diet. So I got so ticked, I threw the goon across the room and it exploded and I got some on my... <laughs> Got some on your heel. <laughs> Broke my heart. I got cream cheese on my heel. He goes, got some on your heel. <laughs> We've said that for 10 years after. So. No. I will not be getting any of your pasta on my heel tonight. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that's real bright. <laughs> I want to show you guys what Nick's got going on in the back of his truck this morning. Actually, maybe we should let him show you. Pig layers. Bacon in the back of a truck. And look at this tent, y'all. Camping at its, at its finest. He's currently obsessed with camping. It's all he talks about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to eat this buffalo dip with veggies while I work on this garbage. Yeah, I'm eating pretty good, too. Oh yeah, he's eating the muscle builder. It's called the muscle maker. Welcome Turn to the gun on. show. I'd like to show you guys what Channing brought into work today. Is that right, honey? And guess who hasn't had any? I'm referring to myself, not this guy. Hey, you knew she Say was that again? A health journey, what? You still brought donuts. How many did you have? I had two, but it's not my fault. It's Channing's. But I asked before I brought them. He this, did, he asked. New. I wanted him to just use yours. Did you have any D-nuts? Yeah, I didn't see it. I had one. How many did you have? One? So the only one who had two was this clown. I had a donut hole too with that count. See what I have to deal with? Chick, 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 chick,